What is Zakat al-Fitr? Zakat al-Fitr is a kind of charity that is obligatory at the time of breaking the fast of Ramadan. Zakat al-Fitr is a charitable donation of food that must be given before Eid prayer. Zakat al-Fitr is compulsory upon every self-supporting adult Muslim who has food in excess of their needs. On behalf of themselves and their dependents. The Messenger of Allah peace be upon him made Zakat al-Fitr obligatory as a means of purifying the fasting person from idle talk and foul language, and to feed the poor. Whoever pays it before the Eid prayer, it is an accepted zakah, and whoever pays it after the Eid prayer, it is just a kind of charity. When should Zakat al-Fitr be paid? Zakat al-Fitr becomes obligatory when the sun sets on the last day of Ramadan. Anyone who gets married, has a baby born to him or becomes Muslim before the sun sets on that day, has to give Zakat al-Fitr on behalf of himself and or his new wife or new baby. But if that happens after sunset, he does not have to give it. Whoever dies after sunset on the night of Fitr, Sadaqat al-Fitr must be given on his behalf. Who should pay Zakat al-Fitr? Everyone who on the day of Eid has enough food for himself and those whom he is supporting, and has enough to give zakat al-fitr on behalf of them and himself, that he should give it on behalf of them and himself. If he only has enough to give on behalf of some of them, then he should give on behalf of some of them. If he only has enough for himself and those whom he is supporting, then he is not obliged to give zakat al-fitr on his own behalf or on behalf of those whom he is supporting. So if I explain in short, if someone has excess food on the day of Eid, then he has to give zakat al-fitr on his own behalf and on behalf of those on whom he spends for, such as wife, children and relatives, or someone else, but if they can give on their own behalf it is better for them to give it themselves. The one who is in financial difficulty is not obliged to give zakat al-fitr. The obligation is determined by whether or not a person can afford it. Whoever has more food than what he needs for himself and those whom he is obliged to support on the night and day of Eid. And if he's not in financial difficulties then he has to give to zakat al-fitr. Whoever does not have anything more than what he needs and is in financial difficulty, so he is not obliged to pay anything in this case. When giving zakat al-fitr, one should start with the closest people first. So he gives it on behalf of himself, then his wife, then his children, then the rest of his relatives in order of closeness. Concerning giving zakat al-fitr on behalf of an orphan, the guardian should give zakat al-fitr on behalf of the orphan some of whose wealth is under his control. Amount of zakat al-fitr the amount to be given is one sa of food, according to the measure of sa used by the Prophet peace be upon him. The weight of the sa varies according to the type of food concerned. So when giving zakat al-fitr by weight, one must make sure that what is given is equivalent to a sa of that type of food. A sa is approximately equivalent to 3 kilograms of rice. Types of things that may be given as zakat al-fitr. What should be given is food for human consumption, such as dates, wheat, rice or other kinds of food that humans eat. Abu Sa'id al-Qudri said. At the time of the Messenger of Allah peace be upon him. We used to give a sa of food on the day of Fitr. And our food was barley, raisins, dried yogurt and dates. So it should be given in the form of the staple food that is used locally, whether it is wheat, rice, dates or lentils. Can zakat al-Fitr be given in cash? As for giving zakat al-Fitr in the form of money, this is not permissible. Because the Prophet peace be upon him said that it must be given in the form of food, not money. He clearly stated that it is to be given in the form of food, so it is not permissible to give it in any other form. Maybe some of the scholars said that it could be given in form of cash, but that's their fatwa, that's not what our beloved prophet and his companions said. Money was available at that time but every single hadith specifically mentions food. But some people can make this argument that money is more useful for the poor, because then they can buy what they want. But there are other types of charity for that, charity like zakat or other donations. But when we're talking about zakat al-fitr, it has to be paid with food. Because that's what our beloved prophet peace be upon him and his companions said. On this basis, it is not permissible, for the purposes of zakat al-fitr, to give money for a person to pay off his debts or to cover the cost of surgery for a sick person or to pay for tuition for a needy student and so on. The time for giving zakat al-fitr. It should be given before the Eid prayer, Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, commanded that it should be given before the people went out to pray the Eid prayer. There is a time when it is must to have to give it and a time when it is permissible to give it. The time when it is must to have to give it is on the day of Eid. For this reason it is sunnah to delay the Eid prayer on Eid al-Fitr so as to allow enough time for those who have to give zakat al-Fitr to do so, and to have breakfast before coming out. The time when it is permissible to give zakat al-Fitr is one or two days before Eid. It is disliked to delay giving it until after Salat of Eid. 
Some scholars said it is harem to delay giving it for no good reason, because this defeats the purpose, which is to save the poor from having to ask on the day of joy. If a person delays giving it with no excuse, he has committed a sin but he still has to make it up. Who should receive zakat al-fitr? Zakat al-fitr may be given to the eight categories of people to whom zakat al-mal may be given. This is the opinion of the majority. According to the Malikis, one of the opinions of Ahmad and the opinion of Ibn Taymiyyah, it should be given exclusively to the poor and needy. I tried to answer as many questions as possible about Zakat al-Fitr. But if you guys have any specific question, ask me in the comment section. Inshallah I'll try to answer your questions. Thanks for watching the video, like share and subscribe for more videos.